In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called simplifying a sum or difference of radical expressions univariate. And for this example, the expression we're simplifying includes addition. And in order to combine like terms, we would need for both the variable and radical parts of each of these two to be the same in order to combine them as like terms. And while they're not currently the same, we can simplify each of these, and typically after simplifying, they will be the same. So to start simplifying, we will look at what's underneath the radicals and see if we can write those as perfect squares, since these are both square roots. So in the first example, looking at the 48, we can rewrite the numerical portion here. 48 is 16 times 3. And I'm rewriting it this way because 16 is a perfect square. I'll be able to take that out of the radical by taking the square root of 16. And for the z3, I'm going to rewrite that as z2 times z. And again, I'm doing this because the z squared has a power that is a multiple of 2. So I'll be able to bring that out from underneath the radical. And then for the second radical, for the numerical part, 75, I can rewrite that as 25 times 3. Again, because 25 is a perfect square, I can bring it out in our next step. And the z5, I'll rewrite as z4 times z. And I'm doing that because z4 has a degree that's a multiple of 2, so I'll be able to bring it out of the radical as well. Moving on with this simplification, for the first radical, this 16 can come outside the radical as a 4. The z2 can come outside the radical as a z. And here I'm taking the power and dividing by 2. I'm left under the radical with the 3 and the z. And then for the second radical, here I can bring out the 25. Square root of 25 is 5. And the z4 comes outside as a z2. Again, here I'm dividing that degree of 4 by the 2 because it's a square root, leaving me with a 3 and a z under the radical. Next, I see that I have some like elements here that I can combine on the left-hand side. 3 times 4, I can multiply those to be 12. z times z, I can multiply to be z squared, bringing down the radical and that second expression. I can now see that I have both the variable and the radical as the exact same in both the expression on the left and the expression on the right that are being added. So since the z squareds and square roots of 3z are exactly the same, these are like terms we can combine. And since I have 12 plus 5, that will give me 17. z squareds, square root of 3z. Combining those like terms, I am now in my simplest form.